All right, guys, we're gonna go try go for OEO today. Um, because I guess we all need both. Uh, we're going with my five classmates right there, Keith and Gav. So you better Secret go get. Date, you, you, better go, you better go get some backup because look at the when I he told said him, small big, box. I said food. big box. Look, <laughs> he, he went said, to buy food for himself. Oh, he it. said small box. He forgot the main thing. Bro. Right, he said small box. <laughs> small box. And Gavin was yeah, late, so if we don't catch nothing, it's <laughs> Gavin's fault. <laughs> Let me grab another box. I'll get another box. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll get another box. And they never bring bait. <laughs> I'll grab some bait. Sucker. All right, guys. I'm going to show you how I tie my uh, dunking rig. Um, You guys, you know, again, there's a million knots out there, but this is, when I started with a new rig, this is the fastest, easiest way I, uh, to tie. Uh, and it's actually super strong. So all I'm going to do is take your leader, go through the eye, Leave this about that tag in. What you're gonna do is go like this. So this is a knotless knot. So it's actually one of the strongest knots in the world. But the, the basically the other end, the running end, has to be free. So I was gonna make about seven wraps. And then now you're gonna go back on yourself. Go a couple more. Back up. Like that. Just three, four more. Up. Back to the top. Grab it. You take the loose end right there, and you just put it through. Just like that. And look at that. And now we got perfectly tied knot in seconds and, and and it's bulletproof this will never come off the line would have to snap and it's almost a hundred percent so just do that grab my little red bead and you know what a little secret if you grab this little red bead uh, from Walmart from the craft section it's like you can get like a couple hundred for like a couple bucks compared to like a small little bag for like five bucks, right? So look at that. Make sure you just get the glass bead though. But check that out. So we're gonna tie this off to our tri swivel and we are set. And of course, here's my bottom end of my double rig. I'm just gonna do a regular cinch knot or whatever it's called, fisherman's knot. Just go through around about five, six, seven times something like that whatever you feel comfortable and then wet this so i put my speed and then okay and then back through the hole oh yeah and then back through the hole you just made super simple and then pull this tight so it look like that and then you just cinch it down oh there you go cinches down nice and tight pull it Pull it, pull it, pull it. And then always pull it, pull it, pull it, and then cinch it down to make sure it's seated, seated well. So look at that. Bam, bam, bam. Yee yo. Hoo, Roger. Okay, guys, so here's my main line to a little hook here. Goes down to my second swivel. Has another hook right here, and we're just gonna tie a really short lead line Okay guys, here's my lead line. So I'm actually using a lighter line than all my other line. That way, if your lead hooks up with a reef, this thing just gonna snap. All right, so here, you just take your lead line and this is the simplest way to do it. I just do like a little loop knot. So you grab your line and what you wanna do is make a big loop, if you guys can see that, okay? All you're gonna do is do a figure eight. It's a little twist right there, turn it over, hold it, take this end, put it through so you see the figure eight and that's all it is and when you pull it tight you are set that's all you need so you stick this and through your lead and then you just wrap it around the bottom and it's a girth hitch so it looks like that and then you're good to go and then when you're done with the lead you can just take it off put it back in your tool back in your uh, fishing box and you're set so super easy that's my lead line. All right, that's my setup, guys. Hope they help you guys. Leave me a comment if it helped you guys. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to set it up for tomorrow. Um, preparation is everything when it comes down to fishing. So um, I'm going to probably make all like this style. So usually I make a wheel style, which is a really short lead line and a long leader line. But because we're in oil papillo ground, we're going to do a double. So I don't know if you can see, but basically it'll be a hook up there, about a couple feet a liter. To, an to another hook 
and then a short lead line. So that gives us um, a chance of catching basically the lower uh, oils and also papillas that usually tend to just be on the top. But you know what's funny is actually the last time we went, the top hook actually got a lot of oils too. So, um, you know, double the chances of catching something. But the only negative about that is that, um, like to say if uh, a wheel hooks, you know, jumps on, takes a run, the other hook is just flying around. One could hook you or just hook the reef and now you're tangled or stuck. So it's, uh, you know, take the gamble, right? <laughs> so I'm just gonna double down. We're gonna go double hooks, top and bottom. That way, uh, cover, cover, cover the water, water column and just hope for the best. Uh, a couple of the big poles, I'm just putting a single hook because if we hook in a lure, I want to be set. All right. All right. Let's go. Holo, holo. Brother Keith and Brother Gav. Always a good time. Let's go bait up our hooks with some taco leg and some ika and throw them out and wait. Half of fishing is being patient. But when you're having fun with your friends, it goes by so much quicker. So... Just get out there, guys, and have some fun. All right, let's go set these poles up. Finally on the board, and here we go. I'm gonna use some chicken skin because one of you guys commented in the comments said, "Hey, try some chicken skin." So here we go. Just be polite. Plus, old school has to get the um, the umea. The old school hard one. Oh, brother Keith is on with something big. Here we go, baby. Get that, man. You got this. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, unfortunately for us, what happened is the, uh, whatever it was, wrapped the reef, got stuck, got hung up, and eventually broke line. <laughs> so we just had to check all our baits in. Of course, eels. man, I had eels Somebody on mine. <laughs> but Gavin was nice enough to go get our lines jump in the water and unstuck our leads. <laughs> nope, he's alive. Boy, he's scared of eels. <laughs> <laughs> this is Gavin unstucking his own pole. He like throw fought us like. Right on, stuck. Gav. Thanks, sir. See, like throw far. <laughs> hey, is something on this thing, or he touching the line? What's he touching the line? Oh, it's good, reel them. Another eel. Got it out. We got a shishi. A stuck, bro, stuck. Got restuck. That one looks dead. Slide bait. Huh? 
No, I'll, I'll retire. Hey, man. Ah! <laughs> Oh, right down, right by your leg. <laughs> They're touching you right down. <laughs> they don't bite, bruh. I think we scared all the fish away from that area. So we're going to go to another spot and we'll just go drift and try. Hopefully we get on. All right, here we go. Hanapa. Lucky luck. Alright, here we go. That's one way. Catch your release. Let him go to let him grow. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Hey, so easy, you guys. I don't know. It's so hard. Hanapa, brother. Oh, you got something. Fish on. Here we go. Something. <laughs> Ooh, unagi. Unagi. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's pretty heavy, but we're thinking it's not really fighting like a regular eel for peel. So we're thinking, what, eel, uh, you know what I mean, hoggy, something. Pokey hoggy. But let's see, we never know what you're going to catch. So let's see what we got. It is big. Wow, in Japan, this guy just made 100 bucks. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Balloon well, fish. Man, these things just bust up your line and your hooks, man. He's like, I know you're going to let me but go. But he knows we're going to let him go. It's catch and release. <laughs> so he's like, oh, free meal. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, nah. There's not much meat on him, you know. Really? Oh, really? Oh, nice. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's actually two different species of oil here in Hawaii. We have the round jaw and we have the sharp jaw. So this sharp jaw, you can tell by that green tennis ball like dot on the side and the mouth will be sharp at an angle compared to the round jaw, which is like has a rounder jaw. And to me, they get way bigger and they like to hang out on the flats. But these other guys, the angle jaw or channel oil, they kind of just like to hang out in these channels. So. It all depends on what you're targeting, but uh, I like the round jaw better, but just throw that out there. But look at this, but then these uh, channel ones, the school is way bigger, so usually you can catch a ton of these. So we ended up catching a bunch of these guys, and we just ended up just catching and releasing all of them because they weren't that big, but it's super good fun, you know, especially you, you with your buddies. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let them go to let them grow. Hoorah, Joe. I can catch it live. Ooh, Hanapa, brother Gavin. <laughs> yeah, here we go. I what you got? Believe. Look at that. I actually caught it live on film. How's that? Oh, okay. oh, <laughs> oh, what's up, guys? It's so easy. You guys. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> Look at this! Papillo too! Oil and papillo! Wow. I don't believe! I don't believe! I don't believe! Oh, oh, nibble, nibble! <laughs> yes, sir! Alright, you. Some catch and release action. Ah, oh, Hamel! <laughs> a rubber hook. Boo. <laughs> all right, here we go, Gav. Use the winner today. He's catching all of them. Wow. 
what a blessed day fishing with a couple of my friends. I hope you guys had an awesome time too. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. It really does help grow the channel. And make sure you guys take care of yourselves and take care of others. Catch you on the next one. Aloha guys.